yep, so we should be live here now, and, uh, press the button, Frank. Uh, hello, hello, people, uh, this is session two of, uh, oh, hey, hey, hello there, JD and Wicked, welcome, uh, welcome to session two of, uh, of, uh, sewer problems. And I hope that, and we shall see how, like, this here goes, as our, uh, our, uh, as, like, the group was fighting a bone claw, and if someone would like to do that while I turn the music back up on my side, that would be lovely. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Lower the music a bit. Okay, yep, yep, we'll do. Lowering it now. Uh, come over here. Actually, no, let's see. Come on, let me lower it on my end. My master music. Uh, how is that? Wick, uh, J, J, D, uh, like, how is that? Lower it on my end. Wait for his response. Uh, now let your players talk. Okay, so everyone else talk. Talk, 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 talk. Uh, Forty-seven in the chamber. Uh. Me. Oh wait, I never switched. Fall. Okay. Oh crap, I never switched over. No wonder. Okay, something's wrong. Hang on, hang on. Like I never switched. Whoops. You wanna build a snowman? I never switched. No. I never switched to the, my computer, so this wasn't going right at all. Like, what the fuck? That's why. <laughs> uh, well, that well. might have something to do with it. Uh, okay, JD. Question: Now, how do we sound since I'm on the correct system? <laughs> it never dawned People. on my brain. <laughs> Uh, Everybody was come for fighting. <laughs> uh, no, I do not. I'm actually like you on the head. Uh, I'm gonna turn the music volume back up because he says fast as back lightning. Okay, JD, yeah. I, I just turned the volume up a bit more on the music since um, I was on my phone and I forgot to switch to my headset. Beforehand, so dun, I'm in your face palming right now. Me, I had hearing your guys' voices coming from my cell phone in front of me, but it never dawned on my brain with the headset on my head that I didn't switch yet. <laughs> Great guys, now you got me singing. Awesome. Yes, my has worked. <laughs> We are, uh, we're off to a great start. <laughs> on the players. Lower the volume on the players. Because we're loud. And, and proud. <laughs> Very noted. Lowering now. Anyway. And the robot returns. Yes. Like, did Robocop come in, come in and duck to you? No, if that were the case, he'd be talking a lot more about justice. I know. Okie okay, dokie, uh, okay, okay. so I've lowered everybody's volume, so everybody talk, and, yeah. uh, and we'll see uh, what me. Uh, JD says, mm. and I'm gonna get an another Mew. bite of food. Now. Testing. Mew. We can hear you fine. Mew. 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 What? 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 What?
I am talking now. So I believe needs to be done at one at a time, just so you know. Hello there, Tanum. Alright. Hello, Tanum. Okay, and uh, how is the uh, screen position, JD? Is everybody view is like it all viewable? Oh wait, I didn't turn down my um. Let me turn down my Optimus here. I forgot to do that. There we go. We got we got wicked. A wet emu, a wet emu, a wet emu, a wet emu. Nice. Wait, okay, this guy. What? We got wicked. We got wicked. Yes, wicked's in the chat. Yeah, we got her singing. Yes, I'm yoinking a joke from Master Code. Don't judge me. Huh, okay. Oh, I have to get over here. I have to get over here. Huh, okay, uh, okay. I'm stealing and... one from Robin. Monkey! No, what? Huh. Nope. Okay. Yep, yep. Uh, okie dokie. So, uh, so, I'm gonna guess people are viewable on on the stream? Please tell me I, I actually got it angled right this time. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes. Okay. Everyone's viewable except me. <laughs> uh, well, there is a bit of a delay, and I've been tweaking around the where the map is, so hopefully it'll catch up, and maybe you guys are. Uh, it is all viewable also. Please let the players know that they are live on Twitch, and they should ease up from the singing and other words they should not say on Twitch. Okie dokie. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's yeah, why I was like, wearing DMCA. Is, <laughs> yeah, because Twitch is becoming oh, yeah. like... Yeah, uh, we don't want... Yeah, since like, yeah, like Twitch is becoming like YouTube. Uh, uh, anyway. That's why I'm just saying <laughs> what emu. Yep, yep. Anyway, we got combat. <laughs> yep. uh, I'm and hiding behind a wall. <laughs> yep, yep. And we are on Nox. So, Nox peeks around this in the corner to see this massive mamma jamma. And instead of like he'll he hold on damn the phone damn like the bridge so he'll run over and he will use uh, his lovely ability as a kobold coward. Which basically gives everybody else advantage on their turns. Ooh, nice. So basically he starts making like this whimpering noise behind this beast. <laughs> and uh, basically drawing it to him. Uh, the bone claws not paying you any mind, just like, just like, just like, just like, uh, eh. <laughs> yeah, he's got, he's got something a little bit more pressing to deal with at the moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, I'm trying to find the specific detail. Uh, if I remember correctly, it gives everyone, uh, in the party advantage, um, I'm trying to remember since, like, I've played a kobold, and I'm trying to remember it's, uh... Okay, let me just... Wrap character sheet, and... Set rolls to advantage. Here it is. Grovel, cower, and beg. Once per short rest, as an action, you can... Cower to distract foes until the end of your the next turn. Allies gain advantage on attack attacks against enemies within ten feet of you. That's the most noise I heard you make all day. <laughs> to be honest, it's more like a choking noise because. Oh. <laughs> You know, on no your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got no tongue, so it's more of a... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Basically. Yep, yep. And that's, that's my turn. Alrighty. 
Next bang. Okay, so peeking from behind the wall. After you just got cloaked I... twice. <laughs> yep. I noticed that uh, this big old dude is just looking at Talon straight in the face, so I'm going to take this chance to to uh, sneak up, to kind of sneak up behind him without actually using it like a sneak action. All right. You, you get the idea. Yeah. You get the idea. Yes. And I'm going to... I will have to resort to stabbing. Ooh, nice. And that and that there does hit you your like um stabby hits. <laughs> All right. And let's... uh Okay, and, so And is that the is that a magical dagger or not a magical dagger? Not a magical dagger. Not okay. So so that'd be half um So that'd be Half of five, that'd be three, so. Ah! Good if I actually click on the thing to do math. Minus three. Alright. <laughs> uh, I fail. And uh, when he realizes that's not doing enough, even though you're stabbing him behind the back. <laughs> I'm just shanking him right now. And it's still doing nothing. It's at this point where I just grab my gun and just I just unload like two bullets because oh. I recognize that I have to uh, I, I recognize I need to I only have like two shots because of only two uh, attack actions left yep. so I'm going to roll a one uh, that there does hit, and that is magical item, so... Mm, excuse me. Uh, yes. Yeah, so and that... a two. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Both of those hit, so that is a total of... Uh... Nineteen. Nineteen, thank you. Very nice. <laughs> so, essentially what I'm doing is shooting him in the spine. Yes, just, yes, yes, I like the, yes, and the bone claw, like, a <laughs> kind of out as getting shot, and, and turns its head around to, like, a uh, snarl at, down at you. <laughs> uh, With its bony undead, can I just, uh, undead can face. I just, uh, can, can I, can Hold on, I, I want to see what kind of... Uh... Do I have a bonus action, and can I use that to get the hell out of dodge? Um, you Not can. unless you're a rogue. Uh, Fair well, like, enough. um, you, well, like, um, you could move away if you have the movement, um, left. And like um, hello there, Madhouse um, Jesse. Ple pleasure to have you here. Okay, um, so I uh, would. That if you I do move away here. without doing disengage, there will be an attack of opportunity. I don't have disengage, so. Yep, and yeah, and unless you're a rogue, that is, you cannot use a bonus action for that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm just going to reload. And that'll be me. Hmm. Okie dokie. Okay, uh... Okay, uh, Ritari, your turn! What you gonna do with the Tell big undead me. thing in front of you? <laughs> well, it's gonna do... Ritari, you, know. you do have an advantage. I know. Cause, um, pack tactics. Do I, I can't believe I made a lapse in judgment. <laughs> He's just staring up at the uh, figure and uh, saying that just like a very tiny kobold. Yep. 
Yep, you see like this uh this like um very tall creature that's like six foot or something, just like <laughs> in danger. <laughs> yep, so what is Ritari doing? <laughs> you do have advantage, so Yeah. Uh, I was trying to think, do I get one attack or two in my wolf? Form. Um, if it says multi-attack, I would allow you to have two attacks, but if- Yeah, it don't- If it does not say multi-attack, you only have one. Because I don't think you have- I don't okay. think you have extra attack as a druid anyway. No. Okay, so you, you get one attack. Mm. Are you biting? It depends on what- on what mm. animal I pick. Okay, yes. Yep, yep, so are you gonna- so, so like, you biting- Clawing, head butting. I don't have claw. I need to add that on my sheet. Okay. Well, any well, anyhow, what you doing? <laughs> Eating. Chop chop. All right. Uh, yes, like that. There does hit and non magical. So half of eleven is. Uh, I'm gonna say either six or five. Um. Since I rounded up last time, round. I'm gonna say six. Since since I rounded up last time with yeah. the five, so minus six. All right. Okay. And are you gonna? Oh wait, yeah, because you would have had to move. Because you would have had to move uh, close closer. So yeah. So, uh, is like that. They're all. Or are you gonna try? Uh, where? Or like, oh yeah, yeah, you can't do your magic in that form. Um. All right. Bone claws turn. It is going to do. And and, and it, huh? it, it, it it did provoke him. Wait, what? Uh, at the end of Splatter's last turn, he pro when he raged, he provoked the uh, bone claw. Oh, okie dokie. Oh yeah, like that's right. Thank you for like reminding me that like uh that like they're focused on each other. Now like, I remember. Thank you. All right. So, mm -hmm. so the bone claw is going to is going to a uh, multi attack with two claw attacks against you splatter. Oh, goody. Uh <laughs> There's a side that just escapes bangs. No. Uh <laughs> A big sigh of relief. Uh, does a 19 hit? I... Oh, hold on. Yes. Okay, so 19 hits, then you take... Uh... Okay, I gotta get my calculator out. <laughs> so I can more quickly do math. Why didn't I have the calculator up to begin with? Ah! Uh, welcome to chaos. Uh... If you need me to, I can do a calculator. Uh. I got nope. it up on my phone. Well, I got it up. Um. <laughs> does, uh. <laughs> does, uh, 31. Uh, no, wait, no, I'm not. 31 damage from, like, its claws. Claws on the first attack. Yeah, by, by, it's, by it's half because of the rage. Yes. Yeah, so 31 half. 31 divided by 2, that's, uh, 15. 15, yep. And then, okay. second, right. a, yep, and second attack against you. Uh, does a twenty hit? <laughs> a oh, not yeah, a, a, a non nat twenty. Uh, a dirty uh, twenty. Yep. Yeah, it's not even showing up in the. I am physically rolling. Oh, uh, that's why I can't hear the dice. Yeah. Yeah, cause I yeah, cause I didn't want to take up screen take take up on the screen, so that is uh, seventeen points okay, of damage so cut in be, half. So, so yeah, so that'd be eight damage. Eight damage, yes. Yep, yep, and that is and yep. And uh, uh, let's see. Okay, yep. So that is all the bone. Yep, that's all the bone claw is gonna do. Splatter, your okay. turn. 
Oh yeah, I'm I'm ready for this. I'm okay. I'm breaking out an arsenal and just smacking them. Hehe, <laughs> you got smacked twice. Um, um, you it's ain't nothing. Seven. Yeah, get yeah eat meat arsenal. And first one. That's probably not gonna hit. <laughs> oh, t double twelve. What the heck? Ah, sadly oh, that dear. does not hit. Uh, you like. You yeah, you like man. swing at it, but you try to miss. But you try to miss Talon um, that is right in front of you, and you all right, and, and, and you miss. Yeah, you, number two. Yep, the, here comes number two. You're ro you're rolling at this. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There we are. So, and yep, and I just five. duck underneath that to make sure that he doesn't hit me. Yes, you yep. do. So, you guys are. So, you guys are rolling five. Damage, right? Uh, yep, yep. In the Great Club, that is not magical, right? Right. So, yes. half a so. ten is five. Yep. Alright, turn over. Alright. Alright. Alright, then, Viren, your turn. You hear combat and... happening in front of you in the next room. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll get a little quicker as I will then use uh, Quicken Spell to cast uh... Haste on myself. Oh. Ooh. And then I will go ahead and run up 30 feet to here. And then with my uh, ac uh, action, I will then cast a fourth level uh, inflict wounds. Because you allowed level two level spells a uh, turn. Uh, if you don't move. Oh, if I don't move. Yes. Uh, oh shoot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Never yep. mind. I can't <laughs> do that. Uh, uh. Yep. And then yep. And yep. And even then, the second spell has to be a has to be like a bonus action spell, or that would have resulted in probably like three spells. So. Oh, no, no, no. I used a uh, quicken spell to turn that action spell into a bonus action. Oh, that's what quicken does. Okay. Uh, Okie dokie. So what yes. will your action be as, uh, as since you did move and you're up hey, there and you, you see the big old, the big old ugly bony thing. <laughs> um, okay. He also has a quickened act, a hasted action because of haste. Yes. Oh, okay. So, so you would have like a two attacks or two actions. Yeah. Yes. So instead, I need to read up on one quick thing. Let's see what this does again. Uh, just... Okay, so yeah, I'm going to try to attack it with my sword. Uh, and let's see if me stab a uh, Boom. Oh. Not 20. Oh, boy. <laughs> nice. Okay, so adding that... it to the count. Okay, so does that make your sword magical? Or not? Yeah, uh... Or is it... Or, uh... Uh... It's... Uh... Non-magical, though the ability is magical itself, so... I would, the, I, uh, I would 5 and 3 is, uh, halved, and then the 10 and 11 is full. Okie dokie, so that would be 21 fire and plus uh, 4, so that's 25 damage. And then with my second attack because of haste, I will stab at the again, and I need to actually turn on advantage for this one. Yep. <laughs> uh, boom. Oh, yes, like that there does hit. So... Oh, and uh, he also needs to. He also means the uh, phone call. Also needs oh, to oh yeah, need to make a D spells. Oh yeah, spell DC. Sorry. Yeah, oh, the uh, spell strength saving throw or it's restrained. Uh, oh, okay. So, okay. So, what is the DC and its strength save? So. The DC is a good old. Uh, one sec. That would be based off of my constitution. Uh, spell save 18. <laughs> it got 16. It fails. Just barely fails. 
And so it, it has to make a strength save at the end of each of its turns to end the restrainment. Yep, so I'm going to put the net on it for, like, restraint. Uh, okay, and so now it has disadvantage with all his attacks. <laughs> yep, so, that's, all so the second attack was 16. Yeah, the second attack was 16 damage, because half of 10. So, minus 16... All right. Uh, it is looking. It, it is actually showing that it's that's being uh, beaten up pretty good. Uh, 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 I'm just double oh. checking something. Oh, okay. And we're good. That'll be turn. All right, Talon. Yeah, what? He... <laughs> Talon, uh, your turn. Uh, this year, dwarf just finally made it and just knocked. Just like knock some pretty good wounds, knock some pretty good wounds onto the on, onto the beastie in front of you, and it looks like it can't move. Couldn't you have gotten and, here like twenty seconds ago? Oh, are you hurt or something? I could heal you. Uh, he doesn't uh look at you. Uh, he doesn't respond to that, and he is going to he is going to make a, another couple of attacks uh mainly because he's all right where is my button where'd the button go that's where the button went all right attacking strike Oh, strike number one. Apparently hit. And we're smiting. Ooh! Nice! Uh, and it is going to be a second level spell. Okay, so that would then be... I cannot remember how much uh, smite damage is, except for level one is like two dice, I think? Uh, give me one... Yeah, give me one second while I look at... At the actual ability thing, so I can actually read it. Yeah, because uh, I don't have that up in front of me. When you hit with a melee weapon attack, you can expend one spell slot to deal 2d8 extra radiant damage to the target, plus 1d8 for for each spell level higher than the first. So that's 3d8 thus far, plus another d8 against undead. And this is undead, so... so. That's four, and because and because I am a level fourteen paladin, I get uh, an extra D eight, which is five, for uh, because my smite's leveled up. Ooh, alrighty then. So I get five D eight total. All right. And and of course, of course, my great sword is magical, so it doesn't have the ability to shrug that off. All right. Twenty and, uh, radiant damage. Yeah, DM. I could do a whisper. That five, bright five. All right. So yeah, just yeah. So like this, you're the like a gum, uh. uh as you as you hit it with so much radiance it does not like it whatsoever <laughs> and ow my throat oh. <laughs> oh you don't like being hit with silver light do you let's see you let's see you uh, take another one of them <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice well okay. it's official I'm 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 rolling above an eight. Well, you were. So what well spell level are you gonna use to destroy this man? Okay, so uh, let's see. What is your radiance? This damage? is gonna be a third level spell. <laughs> okay, and you can only so, do a max six. of. I think you only do a max of five d eight dice for smite. You could do no, max of five. But then, with the undead, it turns to 68. But then, the natural one of his improved smite gives him another D8. Oh, okay. So, 
Yeah, it's it's five. It's a max of five d eight for the leveled slots. Is what that is. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, I get I get sixty eight for this. Okie dokie, let us and roll. And unfortunately, and unfortunately, it's only letting me roll five at a time. So okay, here's the first five. All right. Twenty two. Oh, hello. And four, so twenty six points of radiant damage doubled. Uh, How would you uh, like yes, to finish like to... this? Because like that on top of your uh, slashing. Oh. <laughs> How would you like to finish this? All right. Uh, you all watch as right after I ducked under um, Splatter's second club strike, uh, he takes his great sword into this uh, lower wrath guard stance and for the first attack jumps up and just slashes him straight across the ch- straight at- across the chest and. Uh, like cleaving part of hi- part of the bone claw's face off, and right as he comes down, you watch as he uh, flips the weapon back into a standard wrath guard position, and just slams the entire bone claw into a pile of dust. And uh, when you when he cut off the head, bang is bang just caught. He just caught the head. And just, <laughs> he just he just stumbles and throws it and throws it away. Yeah, he just flicks his great sword. He just flicks the, his great sword uh, free of all the whatever's left of the bone claw, <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, uh, <laughs> puts the entire thing uh, right in the crook of his uh, elbow. And just wipes the whole thing clean. Yep, yep. And then as like okay. you do that, and like, and, and then like the body collapses and uh, disintegrates some, uh, and starts like uh, and just starts like uh, disintegrating. You hear like a clank, a, a like um a clink, then like another clink as a uh, as a gold colored ring has fallen to the floor where the bone claw was. I pick up the rings. Single ring, and it looks like a, a wedding. Ring. It looks like a wedding band. Oh. Are there oh, any engravings on? Are there any engravings on it? Uh, uh. I'm gonna say, um, investigation or perception. Since like engravings right. can be uh pretty subtle sometimes. I make my own perception check real quick. If that, sure. If that's okay. Yep, yep, no problem. And if anyone I'm going wants to, to roll anything, they can. drop advantage, because this is not an attack. Okay, right. yeah, and um, Ritara is going to change from her back, from her wolf form. All right. Yep, and Splatter's going to drop rage. Okay. Yeah, everyone everyone drops advantage. Okay, and I'm going to... Hey, hey! Holy oh, nice! Yeah. Uh, that one! Hey. Okay. <laughs> Nat 20, I meant. Nat 20. Okay. Yeah, so as you are investigating the ring, you look on the inside of it and you notice the inscription in there. Uh, you like, no, like, you notice the inscription of, like, um, uh, uh, to my dearly beloved Lily, may we forever be together. Oh. Uh. I think we killed someone. Why, of course. Uh, no, 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 I, no, I, no I, I take the ring and I pocket it. Uh, I am Dark. going to continue to uh, look through the pile of dust that is now the bone claw. I'm going to see if there are any, for lack of a better term, control mechanisms. Uh, does that make any sense? I believe it does. And... Uh, even with the nat twenty, which I will keep, uh, you don't see any any like um, mechanisms around. But like, um, you think about the ring, ring, and then you look at it again, and and, and you notice a and, and, and like you notice a symbol, a like symbol on the underside, on the out par- on the outside part of the ring. 
Would I would I recognize the symbol? Uh, I'd say religion. Okay. Uh, uh, real quick, uh, can yep. I reveal my reason for a perception check? Yes. I want to see if there's any like uh, smelly or kind of like anything related to methane uh, coming from uh, coming from these uh, pile of ashes. Uh, you do smell a toxic smell, and like there's a little bit of black, uh, s black like smoke around, like it's uh, around like it's uh, tattered remains. That'll do. And Ben <laughs> just pulls out uh, some of the bottles that he, uh, one of the bottles that he's uh, one of the empty bottles, and he's going to just fill <laughs> up the whole bottle. With uh, with that dust. Oh, okay. Okie dokie. And uh, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, uh, okay. Uh, splatter and who else got damaged? Uh, Rick Murray didn't. All right. Okay, so, uh... Yep, just splatter. Well, Nox also took... No, wait, not Nox. Uh, and Bing. Like, I uh, know, Bang. Yeah, like... Bang, yeah. bang yes. Yeah, yeah, Bang's just gonna, uh, toss oh. a, uh... Toss oh. a... Nice. Oh, uh... That's eight. Okay, yes. Bang is... Oh, oh continue. Okay. Uh... Bang is just gonna toss a lesser healing potion to uh, uh, to splatter. Okay, so that's two d four plus two, right? Yes. Okay. Yep, yep. And then for like the ashes, uh, grabbed. Um, you have a okay. you have a bottle of a uh, necrotic ash. So if that gets into people's faces, that will be a one d ten damage. Uh, of like necrotic because they are very toxic. Um, even more so if they get consumed. Uh, and for religion, you recognize the sign as a symbol of the devil lord Orcus. I'm not devil lord. On like oh, the ring. Great. I pocket the I pocket the I put the ring in a pocket and uh kind of look around to kind of gauge how everyone else is doing. Yep. And, and for oh sorry, and for the arcana check, what were you looking for? I was saying it if it had anything magical uh, on it or around it. Uh you you would get the sense of uh of um, of magic from the ring, and it's like Ratari looks to now. Who has the ring? I uh, have it. Yep, that'd be Talon. What you have is Talon. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, hey, uh, Splatter, can you toss me that uh, that empty bottle you got there? Good thing he just eats it back to him. Yeah, and, and then um, catches and fills up with more necrotic ash. Yeah, and then um, okie dokie. <laughs> and then uh, Richari mm -hmm. will kind of go over here. Flyer directs them towards uh, this door and says, uh, "I think I found a, a path that might lead us in the right direction." And it's like, oh, yeah, I'm staying with y'all. It's like, Ritari looks at Talon, it's like, um, I'm sensing that ring is magical. Wait, for real? Do you have any way of finding out what it might do? Um, hold on one moment. While she, while she's pondering that, I reach into uh I reach into my bag pull out a I uh, don't 
greater Bang. potion of healing, and I ha and I hand it to Bang, and I say, and I say, patch yourself up. Uh, okay. Dang it, I don't have. Dang it, I didn't pick that spell. Dang it. <laughs> yep. So all it's so like all you can sense is there's some there's some kind of magic about it. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. What do I have to roll for a uh, greater? Uh, uh, wait, was, was it a greater? Yes, it is a greater potion of healing. Give me nice. one second while I look that up. I can just four D four. Your I, I believe that's four D four plus four. I believe for a greater. Hold on, I can heal your butt. Give me a minute so I can heal your butt. You okay. also still have no, we bit. have healing potions for a reason. Yeah. Honestly, I'd yeah, rather don't, don't save your spell. Spells. I'd rather save your spells for possible worse problems. So, would you like to retake that? Uh, so, for like Ritari, or would you like to maintain your cure wounds you just cast? <laughs> Hey, that filled me up. Well, uh, wait, how much health do you have, Bing? It seems like not just, much for a fighter. Just fifty-seven. I'm a kobold. What? I'm a kobold. Remember? Yeah, I would have had. I would have like helped you at like with twenty-one healing. I think I'll be fine. A, uh, a, uh, a potion will do me just fine. Okay, okay, uh, and then make sure you're keeping track of your spells, mm -hmm. uh, Sophia? I am. I am. Uh, okay, good. Uh, uh okay. Yeah. So, Did we get a long run? No. Before the fight or no? No, because no. you guys were fighting! Okay. How how are you resting and fighting at the same time? I don't know. So, anyway, uh, anyway, so like as like Knox is messing with as you guys hear him with like the door with like the door over here, uh, you hear a rumbling from from like this here room, and then and then like I'm down crashing through like the ceiling. Is a oh, ginormous. Oh, this way, this way, this way. Is ah. a ginormous thing in like a it just like a uh, uh, yeah. at you and Close it's major. terrifying. Right. This, way. Nope. Uh, this way, this way, now. This here door is on is yeah, like unlike I mean, locked. I, I asked Knox if he's trying to lock it. Um, but anyway, so like as like it does that uh, and then like and then like it shoots up into the giant hole in the ceiling. And as like it does that, uh, the does like that, the uh, ceiling above you creaks and creaks and that as it as it as it's moving in this here direction through the ceiling. I'm booking okay. it. Yeah, uh, Ritari is going to shoot up the firestorm from the like. Through the hole it made. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> all right. So let me bring up that uh, stats. All right. Dick save as like as as like it's going up and you shoot that at it. Uh, let me see. The frickin' balls, I I remember that. I think it I know passes. What that is. Dang it! So, do, so does that no, mean no, no no damage or half damage? Uh, half. It halves it. Okay, so like half damage, so half 45 is... <laughs> uh... Oh, 22 or 23? Uh, we'll go 23. So like, as like you do that, uh, you catch it's a... 
back legs, but it does not seem like deterred as it continues on like its way, leaving behind like a leg. My leg! Uh, and it crawls I... up into the and it crawls up into the ceiling, and the ceiling kind of dips a bit. Uh, uh, oh! Please get moving. And Ben uh, is just yeah, going to uh, after it. Wait, what are you doing? We're talking. You want to go after? Oh no! I say we're going to grab mad? like. Yeah, is anyone grabbing Ratari as she as she goes uh, to try to get up the hole in the ceiling? Uh, I, I, uh, I, yeah, I, I, I I reach will. my arms around and I just restrain her. It's like it, it, I want to go after it. First rule of combat: Do not give the enemy the home field advantage. And and far as I'm concerned, we're in the we're in the belly of the beast. So, uh, I suggest we move to somewhere safer that isn't anywhere near that thing. I agree. Also, Latari, I saw you turn into a wolf. If yeah. possible, when you do so, uh, could I ride on your back so I can move through the combat quicker? Yes, you could. Thank you. <laughs> The <laughs> thing is just gonna hop up on Splatter's back. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I need better mode to transport. <laughs> besides, these little, these little cobalt things of mine ain't gonna get me nowhere. I drop for Atari. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, fine. <laughs> also. Now then. Ready to get going. Heavily breathed because in heavy armor. Now then. Bang. I believe you were attempting to show me something. Oh, right. And yeah, Bang yeah. just hops down and uh, just runs over here. I follow. <laughs> Opens the door and right in here. This is the uh, this is some kind of security system or something or other. Being a country bumpkin, I don't really know what this stuff is myself. But even so, this is here. Interesting. DM, is there a chair nearby? Uh, you do see a chair in front of the console. Cool. I set my uh sword propping it up against the desk, sit down in the chair, and I look for a keyboard. All and, right, uh, uh, and you do and see, Bang like, a keyboard. To... Yep, yep, and you do see Bang a keyboard. Just, uh... Okay, and awesome. Bang is... Bang's just... Yeah, Bang's just gonna talk to him. Now, that's, uh... That's some nice-looking sword you got there. And, Thanks. Uh, don't worry, I'm not planning on stealing it. Besides, and he just uh, pulls back his sleeve and shows you his very skinny kobold arm. Uh, he I... isn't even paying attention to you. He's just uh, tapping keys away, and he is just going to go ahead and try and see if he can pull up any uh, security cam footage to kind of uh, of the sewers themselves. Uh... Okay, I guess roll intelligence? Uh, wisdom? Yeah, and then, uh, Ricardi gonna. Not sure what you change roll for that? Uh, I, I it guess. It would be intelligence. Intelligence? Yeah, yeah Ricardi's so... gonna change back into her, uh, wolf form again. Okay, so pull right, back over the Is this just a token. straight intelligence? Or would I be able to use my, uh. And I realize that this is a, a long shot. Uh, would I be able to use my knowledge of uh, land vehicles for this? Because it's a computer. Mm, it's a that computer, just sits but, there. It's, uh, but it's not a vehicle. Well, it's a vehicle for knowledge and such things, but it's not a vehicle that you drive. So. All right. 
yeah, so I'm going to say straight intelligence, please. Uh, I'm going to set the DC at 17, since you haven't really uh, noticed any security cameras, so I'm going to say 17 DC. All right. You know what I say? The hell with it. I just, I'm just gonna tap buttons everywhere. Oh. So if someone's helping you, you would have, you would have advantage. And down there, as you're going the uh, door, you find, uh, and uh, you are doing that. And Bang is trying to help by pressing buttons, and the screen, screen does like a very weird like flicker, and just different code to code, code to code boxes come up. And then uh, it's just like I a, grab a, Bang's a, hand. And then, and then all of a sudden, like Stop. the word um, error comes up as, as like a couple red like boxes show up and it's like flashing like a, a, a warning system restart error code not found <laughs> yeah I just grab Bang's hand and I'm like stop touching buttons note it, note it. and uh, I'm just going to give him a thumbs up and as he drops it whoop I'm just going to uh, go see if everyone else is uh, relatively okay. Oh, before he before he leaves, I'm going to go ahead and uh, transfer the mind link over to Bang so that he can give me updates. All right. Yeah. Okay, that still feels weird. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> 